Josh, a wonderful display tonight. Uh, good one for the telly, but two cracking goals, mate. Uh -huh. No, it was a it was a good game. I think it was a very professional performance, um, especially the first half. Obviously, we won up, but to be honest, we were a wee bit um, slacky. There wasn't that intensity. But I thought when we got another cut of goals, um, we we uh, showed a right good performance to get the job done. That final goal there from the free kick it was uh, it was sublime and just perfect out of the the reach of the keeper. You've obviously practiced that. See, the thing is, we practice a hike and ask Shane. Um, obviously, it's harder when there's no kind of mannequins in that area. There'd be time in the training they're put away. So, um, to be honest, I don't hit them like that in, in training because you try different things, eh? But, like I say, when, when there's a wall there and I've got a guide, I, I know kind of my range and, and where I'm putting it. And thankfully, tonight that, um, that went in. Also, the first one, talk us through that. What, my first one yeah, or next? Uh, first my one. first one? Right, you could go for next uh, if you want um, to. No, I think uh, my first one, like I said, everybody knows I, I love playing with Dippo because it attracts so much attention and leaves massive spaces for me to run into. Everybody knows that's my kind of attributes, is my right foot and my running power. So um, he leaves massive gaps for me to run into, and that's what I've done tonight. And it's a great pass from great way to pass. Um, and I, I think I've just kind of sent Fox the wrong way. So, how does this set us up for uh, Tuesday? Because you're back up here again? Back up on Tuesday, uh, uh, obviously I don't know I don't know the plans now, I've obviously not been allowed to play in the, in the Cup so far, so uh, I'll see what happens over the next couple of days, but whether I'm back up on, on Tuesday with the boys or not, listen, I'll be I'll supporting them, and if they can go and put in a performance like that again, then no worries at all, though. they were excellent tonight, and I'm sure they can replicate that again on Tuesday. Well, we three points, um, good performance. Yeah, three points, five goals, a clean sheet. Um, I don't think you can ask for anything better. It makes the journey back down the road a little bit easier for ourselves. And uh, <laughs> they were, there weren't many of them, but they were loud. The support tonight, they were absolutely brilliant. So I'm um, just delighted for them as well. I've got to be honest, I thought the first 15, 20 minutes were scrappy from both teams. We looked like a team that hadn't played for 10 days. They looked like a team that had five or six new players in there. Um, and then it couldn't really get going but once once we got our goal we seemed to get a foothold in it um, and then the second half was excellent so absolutely delighted. I just said to you off camera there's four goals in that game could be in the goal of the season competition it's such quality and Nick McAllister starting off with that really good one because he fought to get that absolutely. ball in the net with the the four goals no, stunning. They were all excellent, they were all excellent. Um, Listen, the counter-attack from the corner against it worked out really well. It's the first time we've actually taken advantage of that this season, which is great. Um, delighted for Fraser Bryden coming in. The kids had that injury that's kept him out for a large part of the early part of the season. Then to come back in and have a great finish there is excellent. Dippo's ball through to Josh, excellent. And then Josh miss, miss kicks a free kick in the last minute and goes in the top corner. So, um, no, no, listen, we, we're smiling about it. But I've said to the boys in there just now that um, let's enjoy tonight. Brilliant three points, absolutely, five goals and, and clean sheet. But I've seen it so often that you get a result like that, the whole mentality changes because you're coming back up here on a Tuesday night and you end up with egg in your face and you're out the cup. So we've got to focus uh, very clearly on, on Tuesday night because Paul will have learnt a bit from that game, absolutely, and they'll be a whole different animal on Tuesday. Josh was saying there he doesn't know whether he'll be available for the, the cup game. Yep. Yeah, as it stands, he's still cup tied. As it stands, um, he's Livingston's player. So as it stands, he's going back to Livingston. So there's a bit of negotiation to do to try and get it over the line and see if we're able to keep a hold of him. Uh, ultimately, he's not our player, so it's out of our hands. Um, but we're hoping, we're hoping that uh, an agreement can be reached in some way that uh, allows us to keep Josh till the end of the season.